I'm Ben with the BTC Sessions, and this is your bullish bit brought to you by bitrefill.com, your one-stop shop for living on a Bitcoin standard. Sign up and grab gift cards for eSIMs, gaming, e-commerce, your travel needs, food, and much more, and you can buy them all with Bitcoin and Lightning. Sign up today and use code BTC Sessions 10 for some special perks. So this is a proposal called Nucleus, and it has to do with capital efficient multi-peer lightning payments. And that is a mouthful. What the hell am I talking about? Um, so I'm going to break it down with something I made up. So this is kind of how we understand lightning channels today. So you have the, uh, the top line here, you have a typical lightning channel, basically a line between two individuals or more specifically two lightning nodes. So you got an orange dot on either end. And on one end, I made three little dots, say somebody has three Bitcoin. Okay. Great. You got you basically lock up that Bitcoin between those two people with a multi sig. OK, one one node has one key. The other node has the other key. If you want to transact, you're basically bumping some of that liquidity, some of that lightning or some of that Bitcoin to the other side of the channel in the form of a pre signed transaction saying when we close the channel, this is how much Bitcoin you get and how much Bitcoin I get. And we can transact back and forth all day. And, and without ever going on chain other than the initial lockup of the Bitcoin. When you extrapolate this out with a whole bunch of users, it looks kind of like bumping the beads on an abacus down and down and down all the way down to your uh, kind of like a six degrees of Kevin Bacon to get to your ending recipients. Well, now instead of a linear two person multi-sig, it looks a little bit more like this. You've got a pool of liquidity in let's say this would be a 404. You've got four people, four keys, all locking up Bitcoin between them. And so that means let's say each of these people has three Bitcoin as I made with the little white dots there. Um, if somebody wants to send Bitcoin, this is a single lightning channel, a single pool of funds locked in a multi-sig between these peers. If you wanna send a payment to one of the people in this channel, you just move the funds, which is basically a pre-signed transaction saying, if we close this multi-sig, here's where the Bitcoin lands. And so all of a sudden, a single lightning channel connects you to multiple people and doesn't have to do any hops. It's a single pool of liquidity. But when you extrapolate out, like we were talking about with bumping payments down the chain uh, to get to a recipient that you're not directly connected with, what if one of the people in that uh, pool of liquidity also has another multi-peer channel where they're connected to multiple other people? All of a sudden, all of these people are connected through a single connection. So that guy in the middle who has two multi-peer channels, all of a sudden, there's seven people all connected uh, with only two multi-sig kind of pools of liquidity linked up. And what that means is a transaction a single person in here could transact with any of these seven people or any of these other six peers with only one hop on the Lightning Network, and it would look more like this. You transact with the guy who has the connection, and then it bumps up over to any one of those peers in that single channel. So instead of having seven people connected by who knows how many channels, you've got seven people all connected with only two channels that have been opened or you know, maybe there's 10 people in one of these multi-peer channels. Maybe there's 15. Who knows? But basically, it it very much makes Lightning a lot more efficient. There's less need for opening and closing channels constantly because you're connected to so many peers in a singular channel. And it's much easier to route payments because everything is so liquid and fluid and, and interconnected that it becomes a lot easier it takes our scaling uh, presuppositions and completely destroys that math. And